Hey guys, I'm Abby Lyons and I'm going to show you how to play Put Your Records On by Kareen Bailey Ray. I wanted to do this song because I think it has such a sweet and positive message and it works really well on the ukulele. I actually made a cover of it not too long ago. I'll link it up above if you want to go watch that. Also, if you're one of my patrons, then you can download the lead sheet and also use the play along video over there to practice this whole song. So let's get started with the song. So we have nine chords all together, which might sound like a lot, but don't worry, they're all pretty basic and simple chords. So they're all down below. If you already know them, then feel free to skip ahead. Our first chord is G. You're gonna put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And here is G. Then our next chord is A7. You're just gonna put your first finger on the first fret of the third string, and here's A7. Then we have C. You're just gonna put your third finger on the third fret of the first string, and here's C. Then our next chord is E minor. You're gonna put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Here's E minor. And then the next chord is B7. You're actually gonna take this E minor shape and move the whole thing over, all of them, by one string. So now you're on the second, third, and fourth strings, and this is B7. Then our next chord is E minor 7. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the third string and your second finger on the second fret of the first string. So it's like G except no third finger. Here's E minor 7. Then for C major 7, you're just going to put your second finger on the second fret of the first string. Here's C major 7. Then we have C minor. You'll put your first finger on the third fret of the third string, second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the third fret of the first string. Here's C minor. And then our very last chord is A minor. You're just gonna put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Here's A minor. And those are all of the chords. <laughs> so for our strumming pattern, we're gonna be using down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Here's what that sounds like on G. We have down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So that strumming pattern is gonna happen one time on each chord. There's one spot in the song where you're gonna see bracketed chords. And at this part, we're gonna split up the strumming pattern between the two chords. We have C major seven and A minor. So that part will sound like this. We have down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So each chord gets half of the strum. And then also you're gonna see some chords with slashes next to them. That means that we're gonna strum the chord one time and then hold for four beats. So if you see G with a slash next to it, it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. So those are all the strumming patterns for this song. Now let's start learning each of the sections. So first we're gonna learn how to play the verse and we have a four chord progression. We have G, then A7, then C, and then G. And this progression happens two times all together for the verse. So here's what it sounds like with the words. Three little birds sat on my window. And they told me I don't need to worry Summer came like cinnamon So sweet Little girls double dutch on the concrete So that's the verse 
It's so sweet. <laughs> Next, we're gonna learn the pre-chorus. So here is the first line. We start off with E minor, then B7, then E minor 7, and then A7. Now here is the second line. Look out for the end because there's a slash on that chord. We'll just play it one time and then hold. So we start off with C major 7, C major 7 again, now C minor, and one strum, two, three, four. So now here's the whole pre-chorus with the words. Maybe sometimes we've got it wrong, but it's alright. The more things seem to change, the more they stay the same. Ooh, don't you hesitate. <laughs> Now we're gonna learn how to play the chorus. For most of the chorus, we actually have the same chord progression that we had in the verse. So that's the progression with G, A7, C, and G. We'll play it two times and one strumming pattern on each chord. And then at the very end, we have a short little progression. We're gonna have C major seven, then C minor, and then we'll end up on G. So now here's the whole chorus all the way through. Girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. You go ahead, let your hair down. Sapphire and faded jeans. I hope you get your dreams. Just go ahead, let your hair down. Ooh, you're gonna find yourself somewhere. Somehow. Now we're going to learn how to play the bridge. Here's the first line below. We start with A minor, then A minor again, and then a big jump to E minor, and E minor again. And now here is the second line of the bridge. We start again with A minor, then we have those bracketed chords, which remember, we're gonna split up the strumming pattern between those two chords. So here's A minor, then A minor again, then C major seven, A minor, and C minor. So now here's the whole bridge all the way through with the words. Twas more than I could take, pity for pity's sake. Some nights kept me awake, and I thought that I was stronger. When you gonna realize that you don't even have to try any longer? Do what you want to. And that's how you play Put Your Records On by Kareen Bailey Ray. If you like this video, please like it and please subscribe to the channel. I also post original songs and covers if you would like to hear those. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can come join us on Patreon. I post exclusive content there and you can get the lead sheet and play along video for the song as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again on Sunday for another video. Bye! <laughs>